Hey guys, welcome to another ITL Into the Lair. I uh, had a good week. Um, it was an interesting week. And um, um, I've gotten so many questions recently that uh, a lot of them we've covered bits and pieces. And so, what I'm going to try to do today is organize a lot of these questions uh, into one concentrated ITL. Will's going to. Um, edit it down for us and make sure I don't get too boring today. And then we might continue this a little bit next week, so we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. But I'm, I'm going to take you through, let's just call it the process of, uh, of starting a mix and getting into a mix. Um, usually what happens is someone will reach out to me and uh, I like to hear an mp3. I, I don't turn mixes down necessarily from an mp3, but I just kind of like to um, know what I'm getting into. You know, is it going to be, am I going to have to clear out a day, two days, whatever? Is, is it finished? Is there a possibility that they might not finish on time? Anyway, lots of things. And then um, um, I always make notes on my first impressions of the mp3 or when I first hear the rough, uh, because I think that's, that's my most important contribution to the mix is kind of understanding what's great and what can be improved. And then uh, I'll call the producer or the artist or the label and try to get a feel for, you know, the thought process of the producer and, and make sure that, that I'm part of him, um, of, of that entity. I'm part of that person's vision for what the song should be. And, and, and then complete my job, which is to finish the, that element of the, of the production, which is the mix part of the production. Um, oh my goodness, it's Beyonce, hold on. Uh, hey B, can't work now on ITL. So I want you to um, um, you know, pay attention and, and hopefully this will answer a lot of the questions I've been getting. So after I um, after I talk to that person, then then you know we get the session, and you you've seen how Drew sets it up for me. And uh, so the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll play the I'll play the rough mix. Here's here's a little piece of the rough mix. Um, this group, by the way, is called uh, FYI for your instincts. It's it's a new group. I I, I think they're incredible. Uh, they've got Addis. Uh, 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 rapping uh, Linus, really, really cool uh, rapper, and then uh, I think an up-and-coming great rapper, uh, Vipers, on in the group. So you'll be hearing this soon. And um, here, here was the rough they sent. <laughs> Pretty doggone good rough mix, which always intimidates me a little bit because, you know, you want to you want to impress people, you know. So, um, you know, I listened to that and I I really liked everything I heard. I I, I felt like maybe I could, uh, you know, hip up the drums a little bit, make the vocals punch out a little more. Uh, you know, the, just just uh, kind of standard things. This 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 mix didn't require any repair work. It it was recorded really well. Uh, tracked really well and, and so so um, the interesting thing interesting thing about this particular song is it has Sean Kingston on it and it also has Snoop on it so immediately I wanted to hear what Snoop sounded like so I started actually with Snoop what when I first heard Snoop I thought I thought man that's that sounds really good you know Snoop is so so distinctive he's he's just got that that draw I guess you can call it that, that we all love so, um, actually, I think I could be wrong, but I think Snoop recorded this vocal himself. So, um, it wasn't exactly what I would call ready to go on a record, but it was pretty doggone close. So, um, I, I ended up going with Channel Strip. I thought it sounded a little better. So, you can see I'm, I'm adding a little 10K, a little 8K, and then the Snoop, the Snoop frequency, this makes Snoop sound like Snoop right here in this six, 700 range. On and on, you, can, you guys can look at that. So let me show you what that added. Here's, here's, with, here's without it. 
Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to get. Okay, now here's here's um here's with it. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. So, uh, you know, I haven't heard that right now. I might add, um, I might add a little bit more higher. Let's see if that makes. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Lady Kind of, kind of gives them a little more bottom, doesn't it? Well, now I felt there was a little bit of a, of a um, mid-range thing going on that I, 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 I won't say bad or wrong. It's just I don't know, just kind of caught my ear. But there were times when Sno when Snoop got kind of breathy and low where I I liked it. So I, I pulled up our old buddy C1SC. Ladies, Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get, to get enough. enough. You, you got, got to. to let me show you the frequency that I that I thought was kind of. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. So that's the frequency that I'm using, the the compressor to control. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to. And this is without it. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it. Okay. So that's what we added. Then this this is a, a compressor I kind of like on 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 wraps. Um, it's it's um, obviously it's a waves compressor R box. Okay, here's without it. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Ladies. Okay, so now this is with it. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got. To now, um, I've got. I've got the gain a little low, but you know I'm not gonna change. Yeah, I can change that. Just kind of give us a good A B. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. Okay, so now the gain's even, and then it really didn't need much DSing. Uh, and I, I, if you remember last week, I, I didn't want to go nuts, so I just took a little bit off. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give it up. More, you know what? I don't even like that. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got. Glad I listened to it because that's just way too much. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I yeah, that's better, isn't it? Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. You guys just saved me a recall. Thanks. That was way too much. Okay, so now this is everything. I, I'm kind of proud of this. I, I came up with this effect. And I, I really like it. I think it's really good for raps. I'll show it to you in a second. This is uh, without it. Well, you know, you, you've been hearing it without it. Let's, let, me, let me go ahead and add it on. Let's see. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Ladies love Snoopy Deagle Dub. I rock to get enough. You got to give. Huh? I bet you're wondering what I did, huh, Will? Okay, check this out. What I did is I took a, um, I took Waves Doubler and I added a, a, a little bit of tuning and detuning, and then uh, a not sizable chunk of delay, not quite a slap, but a pretty good delay, and then uh, of course pan that, and then I, I'm I'm feeding that into an equalizer, which I'm not actually doing much of, and then running that through our old buddy. Um, um, S1 imager, and uh, just adding a little, little lower mids. Upper, I'm actually I'm adding some high end, rolling off a little mud. But I, I think that's a great effect. And, and I'm, now I'm sending it. I'm sending it, a piece of this effect to uh, a hall on the Recasti, and I'm also sending a piece of it to this um, to this lexicon. All right, so I think that uh, I think that takes care of Snoop. 
So once I got Snoop going, now it gave me a reference for some of the other rappers. Uh, and I did, I did similar things. I'll just, uh, I'll just show you a little piece of Addis's rap. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah, I love your smile. La, yeah, buona sera, senorita. Yeah. Okay, continuing on, I I just showed you some things, and then and then our box, we've already seen that. Yeah, yeah. So after that, um, I started on uh, checking out the, the track. So I put everything up, and you know I've got uh, I've got some instruments and and some drums. Everything's pretty basic, you know, nothing nothing earth shattering. Uh, it was all really well recorded. I uh, um, I really like what we did on the drums. This is what we were given. Now, uh, I added a sample to that. And then, uh, then here's the parallel chain we talked about. Here, I'm sending this to the compressor. I, I always put that on pre. Here's my parallel uh, track. Basic little compressor. Basic little low end. There's nothing special about using the Pultec for this. Uh, in the digital world, uh, anything will work. Same thing with the compressor. Uh, I had um, I had a little faster attack time, and Drew came in and, and told me, "Hey man, check this." He, so he slowed slowed the attack down, and I, I love I love what happened. So let me show you that without it with it. This is just the parallel track. That's what we're adding. All right, guys, so um, that kind of takes you, hopefully that answers a lot of your questions that I've been getting recently about getting started, thought process, all that. Um, as usual, I used, you know, I sent, I sent the drums to their own aux, and then I, I um, put a compressor on that, sent the vocals to their own aux. And the only thing different about the vocal aux this time is I just touched it with a little bit of... Um, UAD 1081 top in on that and uh, then fit all four of those auxes uh, vocal drums music and effects um, to my to my stereo aux stereo bus and then I put a little bit of L2 up on the on the drums I'm not knocking off ever more than about a DB and on L2 I try to excuse me I try to keep it about DB DB and a half unless I'm doing like a Euro dance thing or something, or you know, like if I'm working with Alex the Kid or somebody, somebody that's really using L2. Of course, it, it's different than than they kind of set the guideline about what we do with L2. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Back to you, Dave.